The other day I made this interactive executive dashboard for Awesome Chocolates. As soon as my boss saw it, she asked me if we can have two levels of product selection. By that what I mean is, because we have got quite a few products, the slicer became a little bit tedious to work with. So she wanted to be able to first select a category and then select the product. We can think of this as a two level slicer. And in this video, let's understand how you can build such two or three level slicers from your data. Let's go. Creating this kind of a two level slicer setup is a really simple. So here, let's go to the original file where there is only one slicer. Now you could imagine the slicer interacting with a pivot table, pivot chart or some sort of a dashboard where you have done some additional work. So here let's just see how this slicer behaves. If I click on 85% dark, the entire table here updates to show me what is the values for that particular product. The problem is because we have got quite a few products, this slicer was getting too big. Here I am only showing a sample, but in the real world scenario, we had many more items in the slicer. So the suggestion that I have come up with is a two level slicer. To set this up, Let's go to the pivot table and bring up the pivot table fields here. To make this work, you need a hierarchical field. So we do have a product, but we also have a category. So all of our products belong to different categories. We have bar category where certain products sit, bytes category where some other products sit, etc. So identify the hierarchical field that will further divide the products. So then take the category, right click on it and add as slicer. So now we have got a category slicer. My product slicer is already on the dashboard and this category slicer is here. I'm going to control X this and put this right next to this slicer. So these two slicers together figure out which product to show. For example, I'm going to clear out these slicer selections and then let's see what happens. If I click on bars, I'm going to see all the bar related products up top in the slicer and then a whole bunch of grayed out items. Now this is a problem because we don't really want to even see non bar items in this particular slicer. So select your lower level slicer. So in this case, category is my higher level and product is the lower level and right click on this slicer and go to slicer settings. From this box here, this is the important button, hide items with no data. When you check this, slicer will automatically hide any buttons that do not have corresponding data elements on the pivot level. So this is going to take away all those products that do not belong to the bars category. So this is the basic trick here. And then once that is done, we are going to just rearrange these slicers. Right now I have picked bars, so it's going to show me all the bar related products. If I pick bytes, it will show me all the bytes. And if I go with other, it will show me all the other products. This is the awesome bit. At this point, now that we are able to drill down to an individual product, you can just click on that to see the relevant thing. The only problem with this is if I want to go back and select something, I must first clear this slicer. So this is the bit that I need to tell my boss that every time she needs to go and change it, she has to clear this and then go and pick another category there and then come back and do this like this. This is not much of a price to pay for such an awesome convenience that we get with two levels. You might think, Chandu, this is all good, but I do not have a category. I just have 3000 products or 300 products. How do I do this? In such case, what you can go do is go to the data, wherever your products are maintained and you can introduce a category. Here is a fun category that you can introduce. You can say alphabet and then just use the left function on the product comma one. This will extract the very first letter in the product and place that here. So you'll get the first letters here. Now in this sample data, I only have maybe 25 products, but if you have 300 products, you will have all the alphabets here, presumably. 
once this alphabet is there you can go to your pivot right click and then refresh and you will have the alphabet field and you can introduce this as a slicer and you will have all the alphabets here again usually they will appear in alphabetical order now in my case the data is a little bit not good so we do have a b but we also have numbers because we have products like 50 percent 85 percent 99 percent so those letters are also coming up but you could for example here if the first letter is a number you can suppress that and use a different symbol like question mark or hash or something like that and then again the same idea we'll clear out all these slicers and you will have these things i can click b and it will show me all the products that begin with bake letter b in this case baker's choco chip if i go to c i'll get all my c products and then i can select that to see this hey let me ask you something did you like the dashboard that i used in the video to demonstrate this trick do you want me to make a video about that comment yes if you want me to make such a video as always it has been a pleasure talking to you about this slicer trick in the video if you enjoyed it give it a like and if you would like to learn a little bit more about dashboard related tips and tricks check out this playlist on my channel i'll catch you there bye bye